throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit it was multiplied. Now as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived at Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose. And all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was a Jopa, a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas or Gazele. She was 
full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she fell sick and died, and when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, entreating him, People, please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them. And when he had come, they took him to the upper room. All the windows stood beside him weeping and showing coats and garments which Dokas made while he was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, rise. And she opened her eyes and when she, she saw Peter, she sat up and she gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive and it became known throughout all Joppa and many believed in the Lord. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsible Psalm, your response is, How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. Your response? How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your response? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. Your response? How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? Gospel Acclamation Sing Alleluia to the Lord If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus, when they heard this doctrine, said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at it, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, the flesh is of no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are Spirit and life, but there are some of you that do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were that did not believe, and who it is that should betray him. And he said, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by him, by the Father. After this, many of his disciples drew back and no longer went about 
with him. Jesus said to the twelve, Will you also go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Last Friday, we heard in the Gospel that Jesus fed the 5,000. Thereafter, all through the week, we heard the discourse where Jesus proclaimed that He is the living bread. All through the preaching, perhaps, people were bored and even yawned. Eating the bread and fish given by Jesus was soft and easy, but listening to the teaching was hard and difficult. After this, the Gospel states sadly that many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. But when Jesus asked the twelve whether they too wanted to go away, Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Yes, Peter understood, even though vaguely, that it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. Dear brothers and sisters, we are in a consumeristic culture. We consume and consume, but are never satisfied. We experience a kind of vacuum within, an internal hollowness and emptiness. Then what does actually satisfy us? What fills us? What gives us a feeling of fullness? Nothing worldly. Saint John of the Cross, the reformer of the Carmelite order says, to reach satisfaction in all, desire its possession in nothing. So, when you have nothing, you have everything. Somebody said, the richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. And in today's Gospel episode, we have two different attitudes among the disciples of Jesus. Some leave and go away from him, while on the other hand, the twelve choose to remain with him. The twelve disciples found in Jesus the source of eternal life. Hence, they chose to remain with him, while the other failed to recognize this. Hence, they leave his company and go away. Similarly, we too can end up doing the same. As long as we value the Lord as someone special in our life, we cling on to Him. But if we have no fascination towards Him, it is then that we move away from Him. So, to follow Jesus is His invitation and ours is the decision. It is not an obligation, but is based on our personal conviction. To be Christ's follower is to make constant choice between the gospel teaching and the world's preaching. Discipleship is not merely a relation but more importantly a commitment. It is not enough to be called a disciple of Christ, we must be truly so. Because being a disciple for namesake is absolutely fake. So, Jesus has not only came down from heaven, even his life and flesh, but also he goes up to heaven and continues to give us new life. It is the Eucharist, the sacrificial meal that gives life. So dear brothers and sisters, do we allow the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and the scripture to heal us 
encourage and empower us. Today two miracles are possible if only we firmly believe and relive the strengthening presence of Jesus. Do we give the rightful place for the word and Eucharist in our life? So let us constantly derive strength from his presence among us and say as Peter said, Lord, to whom can we go? Let us allow Jesus in our life for he has the words of eternal life. Lord, we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Pastor has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your head is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with friends of Pope, Peter, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to save your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Come at least spiritually in my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, for the Son reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Sekolah, sekolah, 